Today our topic is risk minimization of wetlands from climatic vulnerabilities with the help of firefly and glowworm optimization techniques. So our main aim is to minimize the risk of the wetlands. What risk? The risk that is generated from climatic vulnerabilities or climate change due to the climate change or we can say the impact due to the impact of climate change whatever risk is generated our goal is to minimize that risk so in this regard we will employ two new nature based optimization techniques one is firefly optimization algorithm and another one is glowworm optimization algorithm. So, uh, to achieve the objective of this project, we must know what is firefly optimization technique, how it works, what is its working principle, and what are the parameters required to be estimated. Similarly, the same is to be known for glowworm optimization technique. Both these techniques are example of nature-based optimization technique or metaheuristic. Okay. So first, firefly optimization technique. So in case of firefly optimization technique, this. Uh, mm, schematic diagram or I will say these are the steps that is required to be followed and I think these are the equation that is required and these are the steps that is required to be followed so what is the first step so first step is you have to generate two values from your search domain uh, which is in between 0 to 1. Suppose this is your search domain and from this domain as is the case for other metaheuristic also randomly you select two values and these two values is equivalent to two flies two fireflies one is firefly i another is firefly j now as per the uh, what i was as for the characteristic of fireflies fireflies always try to be nearer to another firefly based on its brightness. Brighter the firefly is, more fireflies which are less bright than it will try to follow that or try to come near to that. Suppose this is one firefly which is the brightest. So all other fireflies which are less bright, uh, brighter compared to this one will try to follow this or try to come nearer to the most or brightest firefly. This is the what is the biological, <laughs> biological uh, characteristics of any fireflies. And so here what we do, we do that we randomly generate two values from our search domain and consider these two values to be the two fireflies. And we also consider one firefly which is the optimum or uh, which is the bright, brightest. 
among all the firefly near the domain, near the or within the search domain. Now this brightest firefly is also assumed to be the optimal point of the optimization. That means the best solution is staying where the brightest firefly is staying. Okay, so this is what the mimicry is or analogy is. So the first step is to generate uh, these uh, two values in between 0 to 1 if your search domain is constrained by 0 to 1 and you take random the two values now your two values will be fraction and in the next step what will you will do is you will uh, measure the distance between the two values so here you will follow the equation 3 r r i j means the distance between i from j okay so this i from j is represented by the mod value of xi minus xj. Now xi is the location of the i firefly. This is the location of the i firefly and this is the location of the j firefly. So, so what I mean is the distance between the difference of location between the two fireflies measured and stored in R. Okay. So this is our equation 3. Now to find the new location for the firefly, we use this equation, this formula, equation 1. So what is this equation? T is the number of iteration. So the, in the new iteration, T plus 1 indicates a new iteration, the next iteration. And the T is your current iteration. So if T plus 1 is the new iteration and T is your old iteration, so the formula is like this, Xi, the location of X or location of the one factor uh, firefly indicated by i it will go to the or let us say the new location of the ith firefly is indicated by x t plus 1 this one which is equals to the old location of the ith firefly plus beta multiplied by x j at tth iteration or the old iteration, the location of jth, jth butterfly, a uh, firefly at the iteration t, that means the old iteration or current iteration, whatever you say, minus the uh, ith, uh, the location of the ith butterfly, firefly plus alpha into random minus 0 0.5 where alpha is a step factor. This alpha is known as step factor, you see. And this belongs to a set of real numbers where minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 1. So any value in between 0 to 1 can be assumed to be the value of alpha and you can multiply it. This random function is uh, a random value between 0 to 1. And the 0 0.5 is a constant value which is deducted from the random function. So this entire part is added to avoid local minima. So if you see this entire equation 1, this equation 1 can be divided into three parts. One part is the old location or current location of the ith, ith firefly. Another part is this one, this one. Mm -hmm. 
which is the step factor alpha multiplied by a random number minus 0.5 where alpha this coefficient or parameter which is known as step factor belongs to a set of real number which varies in between 0 to 1 so generally this alpha is also 0 to 1 any fraction and this random function is also 0 to 1 any fraction so this can be 0 point something alpha can be 0 0.15 random function this rand value can be 0 0.25 so randomly you can select and alpha also you can randomly select within 0 to 1 ok so this part is also known to be added to avoid local minima and this part the difference of location between these uh, two firefly, uh, fireflies xj minus xi at the tth iteration the old iteration or you can say it as current iteration multiplied by beta now what is beta beta is known as the measure of attractiveness of one firefly from the other so beta is equals to beta 0 this is the optimal attractiveness this is the attractiveness which is possessed by the optimal solution or the brightest firefly as i have uh, discussed earlier all the fireflies try to go nearer to the brightest firefly so this beta 0 is actually the brightest firefly or the attractiveness of the brightest firefly it is multiplied with the e to the power minus gamma r i j square so this r we have already calculated equation 3 these are okay So this r is in the power e to the power minus gamma r. So what is gamma? Gamma is actually the light absorption coefficient. How much light it can absorb, the firefly can absorb. So that is the coefficient. So gamma is also a random number in between 0 0.01 to 100. Okay, so this is a factor which is which belongs to a set of 0 numbers real numbers which uh, varies in between 0 0.01 to 100 but once you take the value of gamma you cannot change the, the value of gamma in the entire step this become a constant like means if you have taken gamma to be 0 0.05 for the entire iteration gamma will be 0 0.05 you cannot change it that is the assumption and now what is beta 0? Beta 0 is the brightest uh, uh, firefly's attractiveness, the attractiveness of the brightest firefly. Okay. So this can also be, uh, this can also be uh, assumed to be a number in between 0 to 1 okay so the beta 0 can also be assumed to be a number which is between 0 to 1 any number it can take okay or uh, there is a specific uh, specific formula for finding beta 0 or to find the location of the firefly which is the which which has the brightest uh, which is brightest and whose brightness or attractiveness is represented by beta 0 correct so that i will come later on so it is clear that beta the attractiveness can be find out by beta 0 multiplied by e to the power minus gamma r where gamma is a number also known as light absorption coefficient which belongs to a set of real numbers which varies between 0 0.01 to 100 so you can take any any value between 0 0.01 to 100 but you cannot change that value in any iteration any further iteration if you take the value to be gamma is equal to 0 0.05 
you have to take gamma to be 0 0.05 for the entire iteration. Now, the last step is xbt plus 1. What is this? This is the location, the new location. New location of bth firefly. Who is the bth firefly? bth firefly is the firefly which has the maximum brightness. So, as I have discussed earlier, this is the location of the optimal solution. So all other solution is tries to come nearer to this one. So to find this optimal solution, just put this equation. This is xb, the location of the brightest firefly at the iteration t, current location or old location, whatever may you, say, you may say. T as you know is the iteration, T is the current iteration or old iteration, T plus 1 is the new iteration or next iteration. So this is alpha, this is again the step factor, same as the earlier one in equation 1, multiplied by random function, the same as this random function, minus 0 0.5 and here also alpha belongs to 0 to 1, there also alpha belongs to 0 to 1. So, after finding this y, now your next question will be why I am finding this xv, the new location of brightest firefly. Because after you find the new location of the ith firefly, or say for example, jth firefly, you have to compare this with the this. Means you have to compare or find the difference of location between xb and xi or j, whatever be the case. And this must go or move towards 0. When this is 0, then you can say the optimal solution is reached. Because this is your solution, randomly picked solution, this xi or xj the new location of the randomly picked solution and it will all the new location will always try to come nearer to xp or its new location okay so this xbt plus 1 and xt minus uh, xit plus 1 these two new location will always try to come nearer to each other and it will be in the optimal condition when this difference becomes zero or nearest to the zero. And our iteration also stops when this difference becomes zero or nearest to the desired value of difference that we have decided at the beginning of the iteration or the maximum number of iteration or max iteration is or achieved. A was at it. Okay, so first we check whether it is zero. Then we check whether it has reached the most desired or the desired difference level. Then we have to also take that the maximum iteration that we have fixed, fixed in the initial steps of the algorithm was achieved or not. So this firefly optimization technique or firefly optimization algorithm is uh, a little bit easier because it has the capability of avoiding local minima and also to identify global minima. So it avoids local minima with the help of this part of the equation, step factor and it can compare its new location with the optimal location and can easily achieve the global optima with the help of this difference. So overall the procedure is also very easy. First step is randomly select two solutions from your search domain. Then you find the distance between the two. Just take, subtract one value from the other. That is all you have to do. And that is equals to R. 
now to find the new location of the one of the uh, solution uh, let us say it as firefly two solution is two firefly one at i one is j so to find the new location of y suppose you use this one the old location of y plus beta multiplied by the difference between the two solutions or the location of two solution plus alpha multiplied by random function minus 0.5 this is what the equation is where alpha is the step factor beta is the attractiveness and uh, alpha is a any real number which can vary in between 0 to 1 and rnd is a random function which can vary in between 0 to 1 okay so alpha is also known as step factor and can change with iteration in t th iteration alpha can be something in t plus 1 alpha can be other so this is permitted okay now how to find the value of beta beta is equals to beta 0 multiplied by e to the power gamma r square so the beta 0 is belongs to again i am saying beta 0 is also random number any value in between 0 to 1 because beta 0 is actually the attractiveness of the brightest firefly as i have already discussed that the location of the brightest firefly is the optimal location okay so this beta 0 is the attractiveness of that firefly and it can be any value in between 0 to 1 generally it is a real number fraction so you multiply it with the e to the power minus r gamma gamma is again another parameter it is known as light absorption coefficient and it can also vary it between 0.01 to 100 but the condition is that in case of like alpha random function beta 0 this all can change with iterations at t it has some value at t plus 1 it can have some other value but for gamma you cannot do that whatever value you take in the first iteration you, you have to take you have to take that value until the last iteration so once you find the value of beta you uh, value of beta so you put it here in the equation of one so that or such that the new location for the ith firefly can be determined but then to compare whether this location is nearer or is the optimal location to compare that to identify that it is subtracted from the new location of the optimal or brightest firefly which is also designated as the optimal location or optimal solution so that is also derived from this this equation equation 4 and this is actually the t plus 1 that means that new location of the brightest firefly is equals to current location of the brightest firefly plus alpha multiplied by rand minus 0 0.5 so actually the third part of the equation one so only difference is that instead of the location of the ith uh, firefly or the location of the old location of the ith firefly or j firefly we are using the location of the old location of the brightest firefly and also we are not deducting the location of ith firefly from location of j firefly so we are not doing that so we have removed that because we have assumed that the new location of our ith or j you can do it from this equation can be written for the j uh, firefly also but then you will find this xj xj equals to or xj t plus 1 is equals to x t uh, plus beta multiplied by xi minus xj plus alpha multiplied by random minus 0.
Okay. So now after the new location of IF Firefly is derived and the brightest, the new location of brightest Firefly is derived, both are compared, that means both are subtracted. Uh, the brightest, uh, the common firefly is the location of common firefly is subtracted from the brightest firefly, and now the iteration stop criteria, or iteration termination criteria becomes uh, it gets activated. So the difference can be equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, then it's complete. If it is nearer to zero but equal to the desired value of uh, difference which is fixed at the uh, initial time of iteration then also you stop or if the maximum iteration allowed is achieved then also you can stop the iteration now in case of firefly this is uh, meta heuristic that is why randomly from the solution domain two solutions are taken and all the drawbacks of meta heuristic is there in the firefly optimization technique but the convergence rate of firefly optimization technique is very high so that is it for firefly optimization technique So the glow worm optimization technique, this is also type of uh, type of fly, and I have already discussed it in one of my YouTube video. So you can refer it. I will give the link into the description to know how to work with glow worm optimization. So the development of the uh, risk reliability function, our, as you can uh, remember or recall, our aim was to minimize the risk of a wetland from the climatic vulnerabilities. So what, what should we do? We, we can do it by developing a new novel index, which is known as risk reliability function. So what is it? It is nothing but uh, all the reliability enhancing factors of wetland is detected and weighted with the help of MCGM techniques. I have a video on MCGM technique, you can refer to it. So you can find the weightage for those reliability enhancing factors of wetlands. And also we will select the risk enhancing factor of the wetlands and also weight them with the help of AHP MCDM technique. I have used AHP, you can use any technique of MCDM. But the, uh, this, the criteria of the that MCDM technique will be the impact on the impact of the factors on the climatic parameters or the impact of the climatic parameters on the factors like you just take on the rainfall and evapotranspiration this is a you know so the impact of rainfall and evapotranspiration both of these climatic parameters on the factors 
So you have to compare your selected factors with the help of this, these two criteria. Okay, and you can use the method of AHP or AMP or MacPath or any other MCU technique. But I have included a link of AHP here for your own benefit. Then well, weighted average function has to be developed where all the reliability enhancing factors are in the numerator and all the risk enhancing factors are in the denominator. Because an equation or a function will be proportionally will increase proportionally when its numerator is increasing and will decrease proportionately when its denominator is increasing. Okay, so when this is increasing, function increase, when this is decreasing, function increase. But when this is decreasing and this is increasing, then RRF for the function will decrease. So the weighted function means if you have any confusion on what is weighted function, it is nothing but the product of product of the weight and the parameter or and the factor which is here the reliability enhancing factors. And the product is then Mm, then sum and uh, arc tangent function is used to make them dimensionless and also vary within a common domain. That means it can vary in between. For you, when you use arc tan, it can vary in between some minus value to plus value. So the reference domain becomes uniform. So similarly, the weighted function of the risk enhancing factors is kept here. So as you see, if I reduce this and increase this, our function RRF risk reliability function will increase and vice versa. So our goal should be to increase the RRF because it, in the numerator of RRF, <coughs> all the reliability enhancing factors are there. Reliability enhancing factor means the factors which enhance the life uh, life cycle of the wetlands. Okay, say for example depth of a wetland. So more the depth, more sustainable will be the wetland. Right, but yes, there will be some constraint, but overall the relation is like this only. But in case of risk enhancing factors, more the BOD, the water quality of wetland will also degrade. Okay, so this is the relationship between the reliability and risk enhancing factors. They will be compared with each other with the help of AHP method to find its weightage of importance. Then the product of all the reliability enhancing factor and the corresponding weightage when summed and is divided with the help of the product function of weightage and the risk enhancing factors and sound and then the it is divided uh, it is it is divided so what happens is that uh, we have to increase our level such that the risk involving the wetland become minimized So that means optimization of the RRF, so we have to maximize RRF. Why maximize RRF? Because the, all the reliability factors, reliability enhancing factors are in the numerator and all the risk enhancing factors in the denominator. And the function is directly proportional to the numerator, not the denominator. 
Now you can use either FFO that is Firefly Optimization Technique or this GWA Glow Worm Optimization Technique. And here all the parameters, the selected parameter or selected factor is considered as the design value. And the, its corresponding weightage is already determined from HP method. So the weightage is constant, but the parameter is a design variable and it will vary within its constraints. And once the iteration is finished, then a new gamma function will be created. Okay, so you can either use this FFO to optimize this array or GW to optimize this array. By optimization means you will get, you have to vary the design variables of the equation. Okay, now once it is com com completed, the optimization of FFO and optimization of this GWU, you identify the best value or the maximum value of the uh, this uh, available data. So, sorry, don't have a little The maximum value of the RRF as found from FFO is compared with the maximum value of the RRF uh, which was found from the GW. Then the average value is also com uh, compared and also the minimum or worst value is also compared. So in this three comparison, if in any two, one algorithm is lost to the other algorithm, then the winning algorithm will be considered at the, as and its results will be considered as the selected one. Okay. So this FFA Firefly algorithm will give you the best, worst, and average. And this uh, this one, this who is that uh, and in case of glowworm also, there will be a black, a paste, white, and a. And when you compare this, so for any two, either best worst or best average, one must outrank other. If it can do it, then it will be the best algorithm or optimal algorithm for our problem. And the entire rest work is will be conducted with the help of this selected optimization algorithm. And that will give you the value of